Hi everyone, in this video I will show how to create multiple groups in Office 365 using PowerShell. As you can see, I have created a CSV file and I have added two types of groups. I have distribution and I have security groups. Before starting, let me review my CSV file and explain each column's meaning. First, we have name here. This is going to be the name of your group. In this case, I have facilities for the distribution and marketing for security. Then I have primary email. I named it primary email. You can name it anything, but this is primary SMTP address when you're using PowerShell. Then we have type here. I just give it the same thing, type. Members, again, members of these two groups and managed by is going to be who's owner or who's managing this group. So I have these five columns here and I'm going to go to PowerShell and start creating the groups. Before I start, make sure you run PowerShell as an admin and connect to Exchange Online Admin Center. So I'm connected to Exchange Online. Now I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to use this variable later on in my video. To create, I'm going to use dollar sign. I'm going to call this my file here. Now I'm going to include the path where I save my CSV file in my computer. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to use import my file here. I'm going to use new distribution group. First thing is going to be the name. And if you remember, I call it the same thing. I call it name here. Then it's going to be primary SMTP address. I call it primary email. Then we have type here. Naming the same thing. Then we have members here. Then I have managed by. I'm gonna close parentheses. Let's check one more time. Everything looks good. And I'll press enter now. So as you notice, after pressing enter, Whatever groups that I have in my CSV file got created. So I had facilities and marketing. Now I'm going to go to Exchange Online Admin Center on my browser and let's check and let's verify and make sure everything is created based on what we had in our CSV file. All right, I just logged into Exchange Online Admin Center under groups. This is what I have under distribution list. If I refresh, I should be able to see facilities. So I'm going to click on refresh button here. And as you can see, I have facilities added here. I have two members and one owner here. So if I click on members, you can see owner. It, it is what I had here in my CSV file. And I have two owners, two members here, sorry. Now, I, if I click on mail enable security, I should be able to see marketing. Yes, I can see marketing here. If I click on marketing, I have one owner and one member. And if I click on members tab here, you can see John Doe is the owner and also a member of the security group. That's how you can create groups. And in this case, you will see distribution list and mail enable security groups using CSV file and PowerShell in Office 365. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.